So when you want to travel with a dog in your van, you spend a lot of time at dog parks and dog beaches. So be prepared. If you have the option. We are in San Diego and we have the option. So for the last three days, my she's been dog beaching. Every day. Every day. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome. In today's van series, we're going to talk about living with a dog in a van. So the first thing we do in the morning is get her food ready and get her fed. Maisha's on a bit of a stricter diet than most dogs because she's diabetic. So I'm going to get her food and her insulin ready so we can give her a shot. So for her diet, she gets a high fiber dog food and then we usually spruce it up with a little bit of human food. She's going to get a little rice. And for diabetes, she's actually on Nuvolin N, which is human insulin. And she gets 10 units every morning and every evening. So the easiest thing is to just give her her insulin while she eats and then she doesn't even notice her shot. Okay. And when we give her a shot, I just grab the scruff of her neck. Almost every single time we give her her shot, she barely even notices. Um, the majority of the time, she doesn't even look back. So doing it in the scruff of the neck doesn't really cause her any pain. While she eats, she likes to push her bowl all around the van. and stops at nothing to lick it clean. So before we moved into the van, we lived in a house for 12 years and maisha has been in that house her whole entire life and we just didn't know how it was going to be and it was quite the transition for her and for us. So like Dre said, we weren't sure how Maisha was going to react to changing to such a small space. Um, but in reality, it actually worked out really well. When we first got her and lived in the house, we crated her while we were away at work. And we think that transitioned very nicely into the van. Even though for the last handful of years she hasn't been in the crate at all, we never use it, we don't need it anymore. I think the concept of having the small space that was designated just for her as kind of her her area, her safe zone. So instead of it being something that we needed to worry about, it actually is amazing. Uh, Maishi is obsessed with her nook and obsessed with the van. She loves being in it. She always wants to be in it and she's very comfortable coming along on any of the rides and anything that we do. So one of the bonuses of having a dog with you in van life is that you use less water to clean the plates because she's the pre-rinse cycle. takes her job very seriously. After Maisha gets her breakfast, it's time to let her outside. Depending on the situation, depending on where we're camping, we either hook her up to a line or we take her out on leash because if you know anything about Siberian Huskies, for the most part, they can't be trusted offline. So we do have to pay attention, uh, particularly if it's at night because it, we want to make sure there's not any animals or anything like that that she could get tangled up with. So this is what we do. This line came from a run that we had in our backyard at our house and we just hooked it to the back of the van. Yeah. Oh, man. And this way, she's got a little bit of freedom. We don't have to keep our eye on her the entire time, but she also can't get too far.
So after we have breakfast and she's all sorted for the morning, we really do try and plan our day around her. It's important for us to incorporate her in as much of our activities. That may not always be the case, but in the case of today, where we're at, we're not gonna be doing any mountain biking or anything like that. So we wanna make sure she gets exercise in, gets some adventure in, and is enjoying herself. We like to put a sheet or a fleece blanket down on our bed. That way her bed's not getting super dirty and then we can either wash the fleece or the blanket. Let's go. Are you ready to go for a walk, bumper doggers? So in the mornings while we have breakfast, we basically try and figure out what we wanna do for the day. And our main focus is always to make sure that she ends up getting exercise. If it's a hike and we're in a state park or in a national forest and she can come with us, awesome. If we end up being in a national park, it's a lot harder. So we'll try and like sleep right outside the national park, get her a couple miles in and then go and explore for the day. It just depends on what we're trying to do. She basically gets two miles every day. And if we have a drive day, we might, if we're going through a town and there's a dog park, we'll go through a dog park just so she can get some socialization. So she's not just always dealing with just us and she gets to play with other dogs. But our main focus is that she is always getting exercise so when she does get put in the van for a couple hours when we go do our thing she's just taking a nap and relaxing and doesn't feel cooped up in it now we're right outside of a dog friendly brewery that's what we do when we're rolling in the van and we've got Maisha with us we're looking for things that we can do with her We always search for dog friendly places so she can come with us and she's not in the van all the time. She's a big fan. <laughs> so when you're thinking about van lifing with a dog, there's a couple of things that you want to take into consideration that might not be at the front of your mind. One of the things for us was the additional cost involved with bringing Maisha along with us. We've been traveling for three months now and the cost ranges on average from $50 to $150 each month. That includes her food, it includes dog washes, it includes one unexpected vet bill, which definitely bumps the average up quite a bit. Other thing to consider is dogs aren't allowed on any of the trails in most national parks. We haven't had the ability to backpack because she's always with us and if we were to backpack we would probably have to put her in a kennel for a couple days. We just have to be mindful too when we are in those parks how hot it is and plan our route based on the temperature so it just isn't too warm. So another thing that happens is in terms of cleanliness of the van gets dirty quite quickly uh, when you travel with the dog so first things first she's a Siberian Husky so her dog hair gets everywhere and I mean everywhere and it doesn't take long but um, no just generally speaking when we take her for walks when we take her to beaches when we take her on hikes um, the amount of dirt that gets tracked back into the van if she ever gets wet you know that's uh, that's a tough scenario there's not a lot of space in here so we have to do our best to dry her off um, before we come back in the van, but what it ultimately means is every day as part of our routine, you know, wake up, have breakfast, have coffee, get ready for the day, and that includes sweeping out the van and cleaning up, which is in reality probably 10 minutes worth of work every day. It's not terrible. And lastly, depending on what we're doing, we have to fit it in pretty much a 12 hour window. After we feed her in the morning, which is typically around 7.30 a.m., she also gets fed at 7.30 p.m. We have to be pretty rigid with her schedule because of her insulin shots. So if we want to go out and do something, we just need to plan ahead and be back by 7.30. Sometimes it's difficult to meet up with friends and go out to dinner and stuff like that because we always have to be back 
back for her shop. Luckily in the van it's nice because she's always with us so that's kind of a plus but it's just something that we always have to be mindful of because she's diabetic. So ultimately choosing to do van life with the dog was totally worth it. We wouldn't do it any other way. She's taken really well to the van. She loves the adventure. She loves to travel with us. I think she thinks it's pretty cool to wake up in a new place every single day. So every time we slide that door open, you know, it's pretty much somewhere new. So that's pretty exciting for her. So if you have any questions about living in a van with a dog, leave a comment below let us know we'll get back to you don't forget to subscribe like and comment thanks for watching